guys, guys, I'm going to show you how we caught this eel. But even better than that, I'm going to show you what I used to eat when I was young growing up when I caught eel. I only had enough money to buy cup noodle. I'm going to show you how we do a cup noodle oil dumpling. On your line, go. It's right, a lot of shallow. you guys i hope you enjoyed our fishing fail moment <laughs> some guy lost the oil some rookie scrub but hey we got one in a bag and i'm gonna show you guys how we break this thing down real quick just fillet spoon and then put it in a bowl for the oil dumplings we only need pork. so there's actually a ton of ways to make dumplings or gyoza or oil fish cake patties whatever you want to call it there's hundreds of different recipes when I was growing up, I would just put salt, pepper, and that's it. With some water, chestnut they've had, or whatever veggies was around. But for this show or this channel, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of chef it up a little bit. I got some Thai basil in my garden. I got a little bit of green onion from my garden. And then we're going to mix that in with a little bit of salt, pepper, and mint in. And that's it. We're going to take that, make sure the pork belly, the Thai basil, green onion, mint in. And then we're going to cook it well and then we're going to mix it with the oil once we get that all well mixed and incorporated we're going to put it into like a piping bag or in this case a ziploc and then we're just going to squeeze it out into our cup noodle we've tested all different brands of cup noodle we got udon chicken flavor spicy etc etc all of them work when i was growing up we used a 29 cent cup noodle I don't think it's 29 cents these days, but when I was growing up, it was super inexpensive, really affordable, and it tastes super great. If you want your oil dumplings to be cooked well done, then you squeeze out a tiny little ball. Like if you like me and you want it more rare or medium rare, you squeeze out a big log. So it just depends on how you want it cooked, okay? Because it's only being cooked by the water that's steeping these noodles. So if you want it well done, you put a small little piping bag. If you want it rare or medium rare, you put a big log like how we're doing right now. Follow the instructions on the cup noodle. I believe it's two to three minutes. We just let this sit covered. Um, every cup noodle has its own little, you know, thingy majiggy. But yeah, 
let it sit for two, three minutes, bust them open and start grinding. I promise you, after a long day in the water or a long day drinking, this is the go-to meal you want to come home to. If you're on the boat fishing or camping and you want that little snack right before you go to bed, this is the meal that you want to eat. Guys, guys, look, we did it again. Fresh oil dumplings inside the cup noodle. This is the meal of a lifetime. It's super simple. It's super delicious. And yep, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next weekend. Aloha. Oh. Yeah. Good. Fresh oil, can of beat, huh? Michael, I need you one real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you don't mean Bruh. Oh, man. This is the one right here. It's like the wheels already put it in part of it. Mmm. Mmm.